welcome back one of the world's finest luxury cruise liners, the uh, Queen Elizabeth, docked in Cape Town for two days as part of her world cruise. Now, the media was afforded a rare opportunity to visit the ship and meet only one of only seven women that captained a vessel of this kind. Now, the 16-deck ship brings British old world charm back to sailing for those lucky enough to experience it. Mariska Borta and cameraman Trevor Pistorius had the privilege of spending a few hours on the vessel before she departed. The Queen Elizabeth made a maiden voyage in 2010. She is one of three luxury cruise liners in the Cunard Group, all named after British queens. Since she first set out to sea, the Grand Dame has circumnavigated the globe several times. The ultimate cruise on the vessel is a 120-day voyage around the world. And if you have the opportunity to do it, you will travel in style. The 1930s Art Deco interior recalls a forgotten era of glamour designed specifically to recall the grandeur of the first Queen Elizabeth ship. And while the ship's name comes from a queen, the vessel is also commanded by a woman. Captain Inger Klein Torhauger started her career in commercial shipping and has sailed since she was 16. She became captain of the Queen Elizabeth two years ago. I think when I took over for the first time, it was, you know, people were surprised. But I think the surprise for me was really ultimately because everybody was very positive about it and very, you know, commendable and positive attitude and a lot of compliments about it. So it's been really nice. It's amazing. It's an honor and it's a privilege to, to become a captain of one of the queens. Built in Italy, weighing over 90,000 tons and at over 290 meters, the ship can hold over 2,500 passengers and crew. While on board, one must eat, and catering for so many guests and staff is no easy task. The ship's seven restaurants and 133 chefs prepare over 14,000 meals a day and, in each new country, bring in something local. In Cape Town, uh, we brought some um, warthog, and we've got some springbok, and I got some fresh hake, and I got some fresh king clip. So they're going to be introduced on the menu because what we'll do, we'll do like a theme South African menu, and we'll have babuti on there. <laughs> so I've got some, you know, South African chefs that will influence that menu. So yeah, we're very international. Chef Aldroyd has travelled the world for the past 18 years as a Cunard Group employee, and. He's always up for something new. One of the chefs has brought me some biltong today. So I'm going to try, <laughs> going to try um, biltong. And uh, would you believe I've had bunny chow and I've had, you know, babuti. Uh, but I've never tried springbok, so that's going to be a first for me. Uh, same as warthog. Never tried it, so that's going to be interesting for me. The luxury cruise liner and its two sister ships make regular visits to South Africa's ports. The Queen Elizabeth departed from the mother city on Thursday evening en route to Southampton where the world tour ends. Mariska Boota, SABC News, Cape Town.